Land Rover seemingly loves oddly proportioned vehicles. Look at the LR4, a concrete parasol could hardly look more tofu-heavy. And since the Holden Effie never went into production, the Range Rover Evec became the industry's first factory lead sled, albeit one with its skirts hiked up over Merc boots. The new Discovery Sport is another creatively proportioned Rover. In photos, it looks compact, but to see it in person is to do a double take at just how diminutive it is. It looks like it's always farther away than it is. At 180.7 inches long, it's about 9 inches longer than the Avec but still a couple inches shy of competitors like the Audi Q5 and the BMW X3. It feels small from the driver's seat, in a good way. There's sufficient space, but cyclines give a good feel of where the car's corners are. You sit high, with a nice view down through the side windows and over the hood. The back seat is likewise spacious, with ample room for six-footers to sit behind six-footers. Here, too, visibility is excellent, certainly better than in the Avec, with its styly over-substance roofline pinching the rear windows to almost comedic slits. Then again, the Discovery Sport is a real vehicle, whereas the Avec is a fashion accessory, a turbocharged purse poodle. Land Rover offers a third row seat in the Disco Sport, but our test example didn't have it. Nor did we want it. Third row seats in trucklets this size tend to be so small that children outgrow them at about the time they become self-sufficient enough to sit that far out of mom and dad's reach. However, no other luxury ute in the Discovery Sports size offers a third row. So if your only requirements are that neighbors be impressed by your key fob and seatbelt count, then you should know that the third row seat is a $1,750 option that includes vac vents and a USB port for the way back inmates. Delayed gratification, we have other requirements, however. Chief among them in this class is a refined powertrain. The discos cannot be described as such. The 2.0-litre turbocharged 4 feels overly stressed by the vehicle's 4,319 pounds, first lagging and then pouring on too much power when the boost arrives. The transmission, ZF's new 9-speed automatic, is complicit in our dissatisfaction, with harsh upshifts even under light throttle and slow down shifts. The powertrain isn't always glaringly out of sync with what the driver's right foot asks for, though sometimes it is, but it is always at least a little bit off the rhythm. And a drummer who's even a couple of beats slow is going to throw off the whole song. Luckily, Jaguar Land Rover has a new family of four-cylinder engines on the way, they could arrive to help the sport as soon as next year which hopefully will also improve on the Disco Sport's 7.4 second 0 to 60 run. That's more than a full second slower than the four-cylinder BMW X3 manages. While the Discovery Sport's ride is suppler than the Sport your evokes on smooth roads, over bumps it is still awfully flinty. 18-inch wheels are standard, but our example was fitted with optional 20s. We'd be very interested to see how much the smaller wheels and tires help the ride. Without the Avix sporty meme, our skid pad laps in the disco ended in gross understeer at just 0.78 grams. All of the vehicles in our last roundup of this class handily topped that number, but the Rover's 179-foot stop from 70 miles per hour is competitive. Land Rovers, cheaper than Lunar Rovers. Competitive also describes the Discovery Sports price. The base say starts at $38,065, undercutting the X3 by about $1,500 and the Q5 by more than $2,000. But by the time you move up to the top of the line HSE luxury like we tested, which brings features such as upgraded leather upholstery and navigation, on top of the HSE's power rear liftgate, fixed glass roof, and more, the sticker climbs to $46,565.
Add in the $1,600 climate comfort package, heated and cooled front seats, and heating for the rears, the steering wheel, and the windshield. The $800 driver assist plus package automatic emergency braking, lane departure warning, traffic sign recognition, and $1,500 for 20 inch wheels, and the tab bloats to $51,570. A base LR4 starts at $51,395, and includes a third row that seats real people in actual comfort. But bumping up against the size of buffering is always the problem with option either pantry models. The size and fuel economy of the concrete parasol may not appeal to all Rover buyers in America who last year bought 12,440 VUX versus 4,679 LR4S. In fact, vehicles branded Range Rover outsold the LR series by more than 15. Our complaints about the Disco Sports ride and powered rain are the same we have concerning the EVEC, and it sells in spite of those shortcomings, so perhaps the more spacious. More comfortable Discovery Sport will help land overwrite that imbalance in the sales ledger.